Veuillez maintenant accueillir le ministre de l'Emploi, Jason Kenney. Jason Kenney. Jason Kenney. He looks different. He looks markedly uh, Hi. You are not Jason Kenney. Who are you? Uh, I'm Jason Kenney. Who are you? I'm here to vouch that this is, in fact, Jason Kenney. <laughs> My name is Roger Kuzner. I am the MP for Cape Breton Council. And I swear that this is the Honorable Jason T. Kenney. Thank you very, thank you very much, Roger. Vouching is a very important part of our evening tonight. So I have a uh, special honor to present what all journalists here in the room uh, are hoping for and maybe even cultivating tonight, Love Story of the Year. Our nominees are Rob Ford and Doug Ford. Another spectacular couple that made the news Pauline Marois and Pierre Carr Pelado. And our third nominees, Pierre Polyev, Minister of State for Democratic Reform, and the Neufeld Report. Roger, can you announce the winner, please? And the winner is uh, Monsieur Pierre Polyev. And accepting on his behalf his best friend in the House of Commons, Mr. Thomas Mulcair, please. Bonsoir tout le monde. Good evening, everyone. As you know, I started off my political career in Quebec City, where we still follow the tradition of the very off-the-record press gallery dinner, with all that that entails. Yeah. Ce que j'ai fini par comprendre, c'est qu'ici à Ottawa, si on veut que quelque chose reste secret et que personne le voit, on le met à six packs. C'est bien ça? C'est vrai. C'est vrai que Pierre pouvait pas être là ce soir. Pierre is in. In Pyongyang again, he's gone back for 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 some more pointers on uh, on democracy, um, and to have his haircut touched up. And you know, I I hesitated a great deal because he gave me his speech in a brown envelope, and as you know, I never touch a brown envelope from another politician, but I decided to make an exception in this case. So here goes in Pierre's own words. <clears throat> Terrific. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. First, let me say that this award is terrific, the way it is. <laughs> Giving me the Love Story Award is simply common sense. From now on, true love stories will clearly have sharper teeth and longer reach. I have to begin by thanking Harry Neufeld. Harry, let's never fight like this again. I know what you meant to write in that report because I read it. Perhaps, Harry, you didn't read what you wrote. It's okay. I forgive you. Sure, I've never actually talked to Harry Neufeld, but I still feel a deep connection with him. So much so that if I ever actually did speak to him, to him, well, you know what? He would vouch for everything that I just said. I also want to congratulate our fellow nominees, the Ford brothers and the Crackbite, thanks to whom Canada finally made it on the late night shows. Just goes to prove, Justin, that smoking pot is not good enough to make it into the big leagues. Un gros merci aussi à Pauline Marois et à Pierre Calperado. Clairement, un couple qui a marqué l'année. Ensemble, ils ont démontré qu'avec un seul geste, 
tout devient possible. By the way, how funny was it to watch the faces of the Sun Media crowd as they had to acknowledge that their boss was a separatist? At least now they know what it's like for me to work with Boulris. So how long is this thing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're really here together to celebrate the work of an extraordinary group of journalists, none of whom could make it tonight. So instead, let me talk about a few of my colleagues. First, the person who graciously accepted to deliver my speech. Thomas, Toma, Tom, Tommy, Tom Tom, Tommy Gun, Angry Tom or, as his very close friends and his family call him, Mr. Mulcair. <laughs> I've asked Mr. Mulcair to give my acceptance speech today because no one will ever accuse him of being a light weight. <laughs> Parlant de ça, Tom est sûrement très heureux maintenant que l'élection au Québec a prouvé qu'un barbu bedonnant peut gagner une élection. <coughs> Au cas où Tom Mulcair fait allusion à ma coiffure, j'ai prévu le coup, jetez un coup d'œil à l'écran, je vous jure que c'est Thomas Mulcair à McGill en 1973. Quand je vous dis que c'est des hippies socialistes. Une autre preuve, voici la photo de Tom Mulcair lorsqu'il a pris sa carte de membre du NPD. Vous savez, Kim Jong-un n'est pas le seul chef qui demande une certaine admiration, un certain engagement de la part de son entourage. Souvenons-nous quand Tom Mulcair faisait du lobbying auprès de Jean Charest pour devenir ministre. N'est-ce pas, Jean? Tu te souviens? On était tous obligés de se coiffer comme ça. D'après ce que j'ai vu, les députés du NPD eux aussi ont compris le message. As you know, Tom Mulcair's NDP caucus is full of separate... Okay, let's move along from the Mulcair section. Bunch of socialists. He's so angry. Carbon tax lover. Why is he so angry? He hurts my feelings. Las Vegas, angry bearded man. Let's get to another... Ah, Justin Trudeau. Okay, let's see. <laughs> what does Poiliev have to say about Justin? I want to thank Justin Trudeau for taking away my crown as the most boyish-looking MP. Thank you, Justin, for being such an inspiring figure. I really believe we should all look a little more like Justin. He's such a role model, you know, with all his fortune, his intelligence, and his beauty. <laughs> Pierre really wrote that here. He's really a control freak. <laughs> to be more like Justin, Mulcair could trim his beard a bit, make it into a goatee or something, Maybe he should get a tattoo of some Chinese symbols that nobody understands. <laughs> Maybe then they'd finally put him on the front page. And of course, I'd like to conclude by reminding everyone that it is Mathieu Dubé's birthday today, really, truly. <laughs> Matt's, Matt's just uh, started his fourth year as a member of parliament and he just turned 23. Every time he hears somebody say that Justin Trudeau is really young, he goes, the guy's older than my father. <laughs> We've also started raising the age of our candidates a bit. Joe Cressy, who's running for us in Trinity Spadina is here. He's in his late 20s, so he's amongst our older ones. But here's the thing to remember about your kids and politics. Here in Ottawa, Justin Trudeau wants to get your kids stoned. Stephen Harper wants to get your kids drunk. And the NDP really wants to ruin your kids' lives by getting them elected to the House of Commons. <laughs> Merci. Bonne soirée. That was good, no one threw anything. There were lots of hair jokes, particularly about Jean Charest's hair. That, you know, never goes wrong. <laughs> You're sitting in the front. What do you expect?